All right, so I decided to uh, film something real fast that I just noticed that uh, actually is uh, kind of redeeming this kit some. Aside from the parts trees being a lot different, as you can see back here, I've got completed front and rear uh, axles with suspension and everything. Look at this. That right there is the heavy duty option. That's the hardened black output for the plastic gear. Which normally I run a Robinson Racing hardened steel out drive because these, well, let me show you. Here's a stock SCX gear. As we all know, it's a three quarter crescent, whereas the new one here, and even with the hardened ones for the older models, they're still a three quarter crescent, but they are this hardened black material. This one, of course, being the Wraith style drive shaft, the pin goes all the way through. But what was notorious about these, the reason why I kept running Robinson Racing gears, is I would always snap these off right at the base. So that was one of the biggest pieces of crap ideas ever. Now, I understand the fact of why in a transmission you're going to put two plastic gears together and then up top you run a metal gear and a, an idler you're gonna want one of the gears you're gonna want a weak point in there to fail so basically it's fail safe so like with nitro vehicles you always want to have it's not good to run a metal spur because if you strip a metal spur you've obviously just screwed your transmission up pretty good but I thought that was really cool that they do that, so I figured I'd show you guys that. Alright, guys, it's uh, let me pull out the old clock here. It is 12.34 in the morning, and I'm just now tearing myself away from the studio. As we look in the background, we see the wallow fame and shame. Let me come over here and take a look. This is what I've got so far. I've gone ahead and, uh, just for the fun of it, I've gone ahead and mounted the front rear bumpers and the side steps. They're just set in the most outward position. I don't have a servo yet, so... Steering up front's nowhere near... Transmission is assembled. 55 turn, uh, stock axial. Well, 27 turn in the, uh... 27 turn is stock for the truck, but I'm running a lower turn or a higher turn motor for a lower speed and more torque. Uh, the drive shafts are in permanently. They're they're not going anywhere. I'm glad I went with the long ones too because I've got a lot of bore that's down inside of those. <clears throat> Basically, I just I was assembling the transmission and was looking at the drive axles and everything. I was like, you know what? I'm going to put the frame together, see what it looks like. So, what we're sitting in with right now without a battery or any of the tray. But look, look how different it is. Look how beefy that front bumper is. Look at the back. Looks like they copied Proline again a little bit with the Western bumper. But, not really. I mean, it's all the same in the RC world. But, overall, the way this thing is going to look... With the Defender body and the other body, which I have picked for it, since it is a certain wheelbase. We're going to go ahead here and, uh, yes, you get to look at a paint can while I, uh, drop down the body. There we go. And it's ass backwards. There's the Defender body on there. Well, the Defender, the Dingo. And if you want to get even more picky, there you go. There, there's the wind, windshield. The CGR cage I still have to put together. Uh, thinking of a paint color that's going to look really killer. Hear that sound right there? That sound is usually... Yes, it is. That is the sound I love to hear. Every time I hear that noise, that means one of you guys out there is either posting a comment to YouTube or there's a post on RC Sparks. 
Oh, that's awesome. Anyways, figured I'd show you how far I got. I know I said this was going to take a while to do. The only reason it's going to take a while is for getting the right parts for this build. I've got most of it ordered. I still have to get an ESC. I still need a servo. Uh, the tires they're taken care of. Still have plenty of work left due to the truck. I've whittled the parts tree down to that. Both uh, both axles have been treated with marine grease, even though I don't think this one is going to be seeing as much water as all of mine usually do, which is why I think for a servo on this one I might be going with a Traxxas 2075. But then again, I might not be because of the fact that I am going to try and mount my electronics in the electronics tray this time which is very very small I might be able to get the receiver in there that's about it I might actually relocate the uh, ESC to the rear of the truck I don't know but this one being a 1.9 scaler this is going to be predominantly seen on trails not in deep water submarining it this one's going to be totally different. So, there you go, guys. There's uh, build number two on this one. So, hope you guys are looking forward to build number three. Because as soon as the morning comes around, I'm going to be right back at it again hitting it. So, till then, guys.